YouTube, Lamb, my name is Wildboy569. Welcome back to another video. Now, I got back from Missouri Comic Con yesterday and I had such an amazing time, which you already saw on my three part videos. Uh, I got a couple of videos planned. This one, I'm doing a reaction to the new Twisters trailer coming out, which I'll upload tomorrow. Uh, but I wanted to uh, show you guys my Comic Con haul since I uh, went to Missouri Comic Con. I'm about to got a couple of cool things. I got, I took the green screen down off of my wall since I never ever use it. So I ended up putting a bunch of other stuff on there. But first thing I want to show you guys is this Missouri Comic Con shirt I wear on the front. It says Missouri Comic Con. You can't tell on the back, but it says that, uh, let's see if I can set that down. But on the back, it says Queen City Comic Con. And I got a, a whole wall, if I trip over my fucking bag, a whole wall of Missouri Comic Con stuff that I got, which I'll go into great detail right now. Okay, so I got a, my Missouri Comic Con, I'm gonna, Put on my other friends from the North West Arkansas Comic Con on this wall, but I wanted to start off with this Missouri Comic Con poster of who was there: Sean Aston, Steve Burns, Great Allow, Billy West, Scott Irons, and everything. And speaking of that, I want to show this right now since I don't have a frame. I got an autograph from Scott Irons who plays Shaggy and Scooby Doo and the Witches Ghost, which I got to get a frame for. And then over here, I got a Hatsune Miku wall scroll which cost me actually $75. The guy explained that it was a uh, out of date poster and that's why it was so much, so much. And uh, a lot of stuff, sometimes you can tell when something goes out of print like a DVD or a Blu-ray or something like that, it's worth a lot more. And then up here, I got an autograph from Gray Delisle as a Yumi from Puffy Yami Yumi, which I was gonna get a Fossil Stone for a legendary friend, so I didn't find one that I liked, but as soon as I saw the Puffy Yami Yumi one, I said, I gotta get that, and she absolutely loved it. And then over here, I got an autograph from Steve Burns from Blue's Clues. He put my name and everything, put a heart, and put Steve Burns, and actually made a blue paw print, which was really, really cool. That was, that was an absolutely awesome experience. I about cried at everything. And over here, I got the picture of me with Steve Burns, which was very, very cool. It was just a short procedure. I think it was like five seconds, not even five seconds, and that was it. Over here, I got a uh, Akino koozie cup, which is the same exact style as my Akino tumbler cup. And then I found a high school DXE mouse pad. I found an Akino mouse pad, but as soon as I saw the um, high school DXE, I thought, why not? I like this one. But I'm probably still gonna use the Rias mouse pad since I really like the cushion support on there. But that is my Missouri Comic Con haul poster. I'll call it a Comic Con haul. Very cool. So yeah, like I said, a very short video, but I wanted to show you guys my Missouri Comic Con poster. I meant to do this yesterday record, but I had to go to my sister's and her fiance's house to watch the Super Bowl, which I was absolutely exhausted. We didn't stay over that long, but I was just still exhausted and still early in the morning because I got to go to work in the morning, open up and everything because corporate's going to be there and they don't trust the other guy because there's a lot of shit going down and everything. But that's pretty much my comic con haul if you enjoyed the video rate with a thumbs up comment down below check out my social medias down in the description below as always thank you guys a lot for watching i'll see you all in a future video take it easy